Good morning. So, you've collected some wild yeast. You've seen some bubbles. You see some sludge at the bottom. You're curious, what have I got here? Is it beer? Is it safe to drink? In order to find out, we'll have to take a closer look. Once you've seen some bubbles, especially a thick layer of bubbles called Krausen at the top of the wort, it's probably safe to drink. Fermentation has happened, the liquid has become more acidic, more alcoholic, and any harmful bacteria will no longer be able to survive. However, it still might not taste that great. In order to isolate a sp specific strain of yeast or bacteria that we can use for home brewing, we're going to have to do some science. Now, in order to continue, you'll need a few unusual ingredients. You'll need petri dishes in which to conduct your experiments, and you'll need agar powder, which is a gelatin-like substance that's added into things for cooking to make them gooey and gelatinous. To make the agar plates, boil up a batch of starter wort, but add the agar powder while it's boiling. As it cools, the wort will start to thicken into a nice gooey substance that you'll be able to pour into your petri dishes. Let the agar plates cool overnight to make sure they're not contaminated with any unwanted bacteria. When you're ready, you'll need a couple more very important pieces of scientific equipment. You'll need this high-tech metal transfer tool and a source of fire. Sterilize your paperclip by holding it in an open flame until it's glowing red. Once the paperclip is cool, you can insert it into your sample of starter yeast and then streak it across an agar plate. When you're finished, wrap it in saran wrap to make sure it stays super clean. Put it in a dark room temperature space and let the yeast get to work.